Five states are holding presidential primaries today, but all eyes are on Ohio, where a Trump-backed Senate candidate is testing the former president's ability to drive voter turnout. It should come as no surprise. Trump is raking in delegates in Ohio, having clinched enough to become the presumptive nominee last week. Same goes for President Biden, the uncommitted choice not being an option in Ohio. And back to that Senate race, which many consider the most important tonight. The Ohio Republican primary features a three-way contest to take on Democratic incumbent Sherrod Brown in a critical race for determining control of the chamber this November. What Ohio conservatives are looking for is a battle-tested, proven conservative. I have fought and gotten results. I'm the outsider. I'm the one who's never been in office. Former Washington Attorney General and King 5 political analyst Rob McKenna joins us tonight. So, Rob, what are you watching for in today's primaries, the largest set of contests since Super Tuesday? Right. I'm watching to see how much influence uh, former President Trump has. You know, he got behind one candidate in Ohio in that Republican primary to challenge Senator Sherrod Brown. Uh, it's a very close race between uh, two individuals, including the businessman, uh, Mr. Moreno, who he's supporting. How much weight does Trump actually carry? We've seen in prior elections that his favorite candidates didn't always win, although in Ohio, he did get behind J.D. Vance in his winning election. So that's something I'm watching really closely. And then, of course, generally, what kind of turnout trends are we seeing in states, in these big states like Illinois? Uh, and, uh, and what are we seeing in Florida as well? How significant are the down-ballot races in this primary? I know that the presidential nominees are all but selected, but down-ballot, what are you looking at? I'm looking at House races and Senate races. Because regardless of who wins the White House uh, later this year, uh, they're going to have to contend with Congress. Uh, and will it be a democratically controlled House or Senate or a Republican controlled House or Senate? Obviously, if President Trump wins the election and comes in with Rep Republican control over the Senate, which looks like it's more likely to happen than not, and controls the House, that's huge. On the other hand, the Democrats have apparently a decent chance to flip the House. So if they control at least one chamber, even with Trump in office again, they have a lot of power. Conversely, if Biden is reelected, uh, he's going to want you know support in Congress to get his major priorities through. And if Republicans continue to control the House or take the Senate, it's a lot harder for him to uh, you know achieve his priorities. Are you looking for any surprises? And what would they be? You know, I I think. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to see how the Senate race, the Senate primary turns out in Ohio. Uh, I guess the surprise would be if, uh, you know, the candidate Trump did not endorse ends up winning. It's a very close race between the top two of three candidates with the Secretary of State running well behind those two. So will the businessman Trump is supporting uh, come out on top or will Mr. Dolan, who is not supported by Trump, come out on top? Uh, it's a measure of Trump's influence and also the mood of the voters. I mean, how much are they listening to former President Trump and how much are they deciding for themselves among Republican voters who they want to be their nominee? So while Trump is not on the ballot, he kind of is on the ballot. <laughs> Rob McKenna, thanks so much for your time. Absolutely.